first question I have, though, as we deal with all this stuff is, Derrick Henry signing to the Ravens, dot, 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 is it enough, question mark? Is it enough to win a Super Bowl? That's the goal. There's nothing else. I want to start by saying I love the move. Derrick Henry's going to fit great in that offense. Any clowns out there saying that that's not true, are, I don't understand what you're saying or looking at or what your argument could be. Um, he and Lamar are going to make one of the more exciting tandems we've ever seen on a football field. And they're going to be productive. And as flashy as it is now, you know, and this is woulda, coulda, shoulda, I know. I don't even know if I should say this now. Like, had they done what we had suggested on the show and what many suggested, and it was definitely talked about as it being a sexy ad at the deadline, had DaCosta and co. added him at the deadline, does this team, dare I say, win the Super Bowl? I know it's crazy. I know Chiefs fans are not going to like that. Ravens fans probably aren't going to like that. Don't look in the past, don't whatever. But you look back at that Kansas City game with the Ravens, and I can't imagine six rushing attempts happen with 22 and a crown running, running back there. So, sure, better late than never. Probably shouldn't have brought that up. I don't know if that was like a doomy cloud that I just put, but, but they could have gotten him at the deadline, and I wish they did. But I'm glad that they did now because this has to work for them. And I'm going to say, does this put them over the edge? Is Derek enough? I don't know because... It's not the same team. Let's take a look. DC, Mike McDonald, he's, he's left. Patrick Queen signs with the Steelers. Geno Stone, big addition for the Bengals who need help on defense. Starting guard, John Simpson, is a Jet. Kevin Zeitler, free agent. Jadavion Clowney off a career year. This is a lot to lose. Wow, this is woofy. Um, the Ravens aren't done, but those are a lot of losses to manage people, especially when it comes to a defense that is reigning number one. It is the best defense in the league from last year. So there's a jolt that Derrick Henry is going to bring. Is it enough to offset in the balance of things what you just saw on that full screen, that court chain whipped up? I don't know. And can they find enough pieces on the current roster and in the draft to fill the gaps that you just saw leave there, D.C. and down? So it's sort of what I'm waiting to see all in all. This is a Super Bowl contending team, and I can't wait to see what this offense looks like next season. Okay, next question. It's one that I kind of poured, um, you know, I like to I like to do this. Sometimes people think I'm an insider. So I'm not an insider. I'm not trying to play that game. I just like to sometimes do this, add a little something. Um, some might call it watching the world burn, a la Joker, just like what I like to do sometimes. And when I saw this Chase, um, uh, Jamar Chase tweet about uh, this story is going to be crazy to tell, I go back to talking to Jamar Chase at Super Bowl. He's sitting aside, T. Higgins talking about not playing each other. I go back to my interview, getting to sit down with a very giggly Justin Jefferson talking about, don't you miss those guys in the stripes? What would you and Jamar be like back there? And so I tweeted, Justin Jefferson to the Bengals. Why not? Listen, a lot of people are wondering, in the wake of the Kirk Cousins news, you know, what do you do if you're Justin Jefferson? You, can you possibly sign an extension in Minnesota without having an idea of the future and what your future holds at quarterback? Is Sam Darnold enough for you to be like, you know what, I'll finally find that extension paperwork from under my bed and sign it and turn it in, Chief? Like, no, you're not going to do that. And there's a massive payday on the horizon. Does he want to play out a season with a quarterback situation that could possibly affect his numbers? Or is he so confident that he's like, give me Sam Darnold. I'll, my numbers will be great anyway. Look at what my numbers were before my injury and after my injury just a season ago. I was on a, a crazy historic clip before all of that got derailed uh, with Kirk going down and him going down, of course. I don't know. Jefferson revealed in an interview yesterday that he likes Justin Fields. That's interesting. That's intriguing. So if you're Chicago... You can't trade him there now, right? Not only do you risk him embarrassing you for years to come if it works, but you might help them lock in Justin Jefferson too. Can you, as a Chicago Bears front office, like what you're, where do you move on the chessboard? Like, I don't know, is that checkmate for you? Can you do it? Um, I don't know. I would play chess, not checkers there, Ryan Poles. I probably wouldn't, wouldn't risk that, wouldn't want to get that down. And I have to address the Bengals speculation here too, um, as I alluded to at the top here, because people started wondering, and I added to this story, you know, is this an LSU reunion in Cincy? Um, I fan the flames, of course, agent of chaos, Kay Adams uh, at your service. Let's be honest, it's fun to think about. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. T and a couple of picks could make an intriguing package situation happened. The odds of it happening, obviously very slim. Um, Bengals have other needs to fill, especially defensively, but I don't know, crazier things have been said. I don't know. And 
I asked Justin about reuniting with Joe and Jamar. Um, you know, after they played the Bengals this year, they were like dapping each other up on the field. I thought it was cute. And this actually, this clip actually did not make the final cut to air, but we did want to share it with you guys. I think, you know, you're saying you just, you know, you hang out with Joe, you say hi. Listen, you haven't found that extension in Minnesota. Are you telling Joe? <laughs> Are you telling Joe how good he would look in some tiger stripes? Oh man, I, hey, we we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that. I like it. Listen, <laughs> are you okay? okay, here's another. Yeah, you gonna give me in trouble, kid? You gonna give me in trouble? Make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. But Bengals aside, I wouldn't be surprised if we start hearing trade rumors if the Vikings don't make a more significant move at the quarterback spot.